Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to cover Forgotten Paradise. This is a completed science fiction themed visual novel that you can play for free on PC and Mac. So this is a story about you and your family losing their memories and being placed on a space station as part of a social experiment. Will you and your wife fall in love again? Will someone else get in the way? Will genetic sexual attraction rear its contentious head and provide other relationship options? I can assure you that this game quickly moves in a direction that you won't expect it to. Well, at least I didn't. But what it really reminded me of was the Witcher series. The main character, Geralt, starts the first Witcher game with no memory and only regains it well into The Witcher 2. This poses a problem because he has fallen in love with Triss, while having forgotten his earlier magical faded love with Yennefer. Spoilers. Well, now you have the chance to play as Yennefer. I know that people will say this is NTR and I'll list it as a flavor, but it really isn't. Given how militant the NTR community can be, I'm kinda dreading having to cover what is and is an NTR when I release this flavor of the week later this summer. This is one of those games where the graphics and images start rough and get much better as you play into the game. The lighting is a real issue to start and the animations are choppy, but by the end of the game they are much, much better. The music is nice and catchy, but the sexual animations are silent. Flavor-wise, this is a mostly heterosexual male experience with corruption, BDSM, harem, impregnation, monster girls, transformation, lesbian, power exchange, and some futanari. As I mentioned, it sorta has NTR, but that's really up to interpretation. The game has multiple endings, and I really enjoyed the story. I thought this was just going to be another prototypical visual novel, but I was really surprised about how things went in a whole other direction. I really thought this was just going to be another harem on a ship game. Don't get me wrong, you can have your space harem ending if you want, but there is also so much more. I would have liked more dialogue choices, as this tends to be one of those fewer choices and many endings types of visual novel, but the story really made up for it. I really enjoyed Forgotten Paradise. At first, I just thought the title meant the paradise of the family that was forgotten. But, as I played, I thought it could also be the paradise that you create because of what you have forgotten. Either way, if you enjoy visual novels and are not scared off by the pseudo-NTR, I highly recommend giving Forgotten Paradise a shot. Which ending do you like best? Do you think I'm off-based about the NTR classification thing? And as always, no shaming, just gaming.